This video is going to go over the topic constant rate of change. It is in our unit of proportional relationships. So we're going to look at some examples in tables and in a word problem. A couple things we need to know about constant rate of change. What we're doing is we're seeing um, if a pair of numbers increases or decreases by the same amount. Okay, the, if there's a table or a graph, we can look at the x values and we're going to find the change. What that means is we're going to subtract the numbers in the x list, either going down or sideways. We're also going to do that to the y values. We're going to find the change in the y values by subtracting the numbers in the y list. We will do it for the whole table just to make sure that it's consistent. Once we do that, we will make a fraction with those numbers we got when we subtracted. The numbers after you subtract will make a fraction. The y number goes on top, x number goes on bottom. I'm going to highlight that because it is important that the y is on top and the x is on bottom. We would divide that or simplify the fraction right here. Divide it or simplify the fraction just to see how low it can go. This is our first example. It wants to know, does this table show a constant rate of change? And then if it does, we're going to say, what is the actual rate of change? So the first thing is normally the letters on the left when the table is going up and down are your X numbers. The numbers on the right when your table is going up and down are Y. So I am going to go down the list from 1 to 2. If I subtract those, I just get a 1. I keep going down the list. This table is only counting by 1s. Not every table will count by 1s, so be careful on that when you get it 1. Then if I look at the Y values and I'm going down this list, I either recognize it or I will make a subtraction problem, but from 60 to 75, that's 15. From 75 to 90, that's also 15. From 90 to 105, that's 15. And 105 to 120, it's also 15. Okay? I would take now this Y number. Oops. I would take this Y number with this X number, the first two, and I would make a fraction. So all my fractions are the same, 15 over 1. That just means 15. And this was about money, so I'm going to go ahead and put my label with it. And the X was number of days, so I would say $15 per day. It is the same, so I could also say that yes, this has a constant rate. Of change. The second table, this one is an example where it goes horizontally or sideways. This time they labeled the X and the Y for you. So again, I'm just going to go down the, not down, I'm going to go across this time, across the, y, the X and the Y. I'm going to make these little loops saying if I go from one to the other. This one is also counting by ones, but I promise you they won't always be counting by ones. Then I'm going to make my loops on my Y list and I'm going to see how much does it change by. If I go from 8 to 16 and I subtract, this is 8. If I go from 16 to 32, that is not 8 anymore. That is 16. Then when I go from 32 to 64, that isn't 8 or 16, that's actually 32. So I can tell on this, if I were to make my fractions, 8 over 1, 16 over 1, 32 over 1, these are not the same. So this one is um, no. Not not. No, there is um, no constant rate of change.
it always needs to be through addition. When you're looking at these numbers, this needs to be add or subtract. No multiply, okay? When I'm seeing how the Y's are changing, I'm always going to see if they're adding or subtracting. Same thing with the X's. Don't put times 2 on this. So the last way we're going to look at this is to see a story problem. And one way to help yourself look to see if there's a pattern is to create a table. If you make your own table to organize your information, then it's basically like there's not even a story problem. So I'm going to make a table. And the things that I'm comparing, if I read this story problem, in one hour of babysitting, Bethany makes eight dollars she makes sixteen dollars in two hours she makes 24 in three hours so the things i'm comparing are hours of babysitting and the money i make i'm going to put hours i don't have to put of babysitting but i'm going to say hours and then i'm just going to put money so x would be my hours y would be my money that i've earned so it told us that she's going to earn um, one hour of babysitting is $8, then 16 for two hours, and then 24 for three hours. So one hour, oh, I keep doing that. One hour was $8, two hours was $16, three hours was $24. Now that these numbers are in my list, it's a little bit easier for me to just focus on the numbers and not worry about all the words in the problem. So when I go through the X, this one is counting by ones. Then I'm gonna go through the Y's. Ooh, that blue, you can't see very good. I'm gonna go through the Y's from eight to 16. If I subtract those, that's eight away from each other. And then if I do 16 and 24 and I subtract that, it's also 8. Now I can make a fraction with these pairs. This number with this number. This number with this number. Okay. If they're all the same, then it's pretty easy. I can just write the fraction one time. 8 over 1 means 8. So my answer would be she gets $8 each hour. In real life, it's not always that way. Sometimes you get bonuses or um, different amounts. You get a maybe a little extra. So the last thing that I want to show you is from a graph. If all I have is a picture, I don't have any words. I don't have any numbers. We want to know if a graph has a constant rate of change. So this is labeled at the top. The first graph has a constant rate of change. Okay. So I'm going to say um, this one, it already says a constant rate of change, so I'm going to say yes. This line is going down, so this one has a negative rate of change. And actually, you guys can just write negative. You don't have to write rate of change. Just Let's just write negative. Um, and... It is a constant rate of change because it's making a straight line. That's all I look for, straight line. The second graph, if you look at the path of it, it's going up, it's getting more and more and more. So this one is going to be positive. It's also yes and it's also because it is a straight line. That's the only thing I need to look for. The third one at the top, it says this is not a constant rate of change. The line starts to curve and bend and then it goes real fast. So that tells me it's not constant. It's not staying the same path. So for this one, I would say no. And it's not straight. If it bends or curves at all, it's not constant.